What's going on, everybody? This is Joe. And Amy. And we are back with another episode of Detroit Become Human. Last time we started the game, so if you missed it, you should definitely go check it out. I don't want to spoil too much for you, and you haven't missed that much. You only missed one episode, so I encourage you to go back and check that out. Yeah, you really should. You really oh should. <laughs> oh my god. You missed plenty, but if you're here and you're familiar with the game, uh, then I can say last time we met Connor, we met Marcus? Yes. Was that his name? And we met... Oh god, I'm not going to remember her name. But the, the house bot that got picked up. Oh the, uh, the did woman. you know that you can review your story progress in the story chart section? I sure didn't. You can also see the choices made by other players there. Well, that we've seen from the endings but yes so we've done the first three missions we ended on marcus's mission where he was being harassed in the on the streets yeah and then he got a uh into the specific compartment for his people in the back of the bus no. uh, 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 uh. <laughs> because uh yeah, please <laughs> the, the joke that i made is you know we like our metaphors heavy-handed around here. Yeah. But we're going to get right back into the game uh, because this is great and we're, we're looking forward to continuing. So I just want to comment on, like, I'm, I'm pretty sure I mentioned it in the other episode, but, like, <laughs> why put makeup on an android? You, you asked a lot about, like... Like, why make them... The reasonings out? behind any of the decisions yeah. for the androids. And, again, uh, maybe based on what you've seen so far, you... Whether you can anticipate if they're going to go into it and answer all your questions or if they're just going to, you know, not, I, I, mm -hmm. I guess we'll have to wait and see. Because it's, it's a question that I'm not yet comfortable answering for you mm -hmm. and or, okay. you know, I guess if people have opinions, they can leave it in the comments. But, all right. Because it's, like, apparent that she's not wearing, like, foundation. They didn't put foundation on this android, but they did include, like, rosy cheeks and freckles. Yeah. But they did put lip gloss and you know eyeshadow and mascara. Is, we hope for better okay. things. <laughs> wow. Wow. But yeah. It's actually really sad. <laughs> we hope, hope for, for better, better things. things. Yeah. Yep. Uh, okay. So, are you ready? Oh man. Oh, I'm I'm putting it off because I'm <laughs> so anxious. So I believe we I'm fixed... I'm so nervous about starting this game again. <laughs> I believe we fixed our volume issues from last time. It turned out uh, not only was the PlayStation camera um, a speaker, but the uh, controller that I was using also had a speaker. So there were just speakers everywhere. So now it should just be the game audio coming through. Uh, so there shouldn't be any mirroring this time. Uh, if you are and our noticing butt it. buttholes talking over it. Yeah, exactly. So our mouth holes. Yeah, I was going to say, uh, whatever. I, I, I'll go with whatever. Like <laughs> We're farting on the, yeah, on the right, stream. Yeah, right, right into the, the microphone. <laughs> uh, so. Are you familiar with Schrodinger's cat? I am. Until you decide what happens. Everything is happening at once. Like in Detroit. Okay. Fair enough. All right, like so in Detroit? De it was in all caps. Detroit this game. Detroit become human. So, in other words, there's decision trees by oh, the end. Oh, okay. But until you make that choice, they're all happening at yeah. once. Yeah. All right. Are you ready? Yeah. Let's do it. I'm excited. See who we're going to be today. Oh, no. <laughs> Classic PlayStation load screens. We're only at 30%. Which is ironic because the PlayStation is making less noise now than it was on the, on the main menu screen. Yeah. <laughs> like I said last week, it sounded like it was ready to go into orbit, which is like... Well, you know, it takes a lot to put all those individual freckles on the Android. <laughs> Oh, yeah. November 5th, 2038. 4.53 p.m. Good, maybe. Oh, Kara! That was her name. I just saw her face and I was like, oh, look, it's Kara. So there you go. <laughs> or Kara, I think is what they called her. Kara. Yeah, Kara. Spelled like Kara, but pronounced Kara. Oh, he 
doesn't open the door for her. Okay. Nope. Use R1 to switch the camera angle. Join Todd. You coming? I mean, yeah, dude. Oh! No, it said we could look. Let me see. Construction. Yeah. A better place to live. Rebuild North Corktown. North Corktown? That's what it says. No wonder it's gotta be rebuilt. What a stupid name. <laughs> Okay, well, let's uh, join Todd. I hope that's not an actual town in Detroit, because then I would kind of feel bad. Mm. It's nobody who lives there, you know, named it. Right, it's, it's not their fault. It's got its own so name. The place is a mess. You do the housework, the washing, you cook the meals, and you take care of. God damn it, where the fuck's the brat gone now? Alice! Is it a child Alice! or a pet? Oh, there you go. An That's Alice. Child. You look after her. Homework, bath, all that crap. Got it? Yes, Todd. Get started down here, then you do upstairs. There's no paint on the walls. Hold R2 to scan your environment. Look around using the right stick. So optional tasks, collect dishes, activate the vacuum cleaner, check the backyard, Urgent tasks, collect the trash, and dot, dot, dot. I want to just look around before we start doing things okay. actively. So we're looking around. There's something that can be done there at the table. That's the dishes, I assume. There's a bunch of stuff that can be done in the kitchen and a couple of things here in the living room as well, it looks like. And then there's the um, the back door, it looks like, that we can go out straight ahead. Um, and then there's upstairs, but as Todd told us, we can't... We're, you know, we're supposed to do this stuff down here first before we go yeah. upstairs. But. Okay. Well, let's just look around down here, and we can start to make our way into the uh, dining room. Okay. The, yeah, this area here. Yeah. Sure. Yeah, so it gives us the option to take the dishes. Okay. Okay, so now we wash the dishes, activate vacuum cleaner, and check the backyard or whatever. Oh, I thought we were going to get yeah. to interact with the child. We probably could. Let's put the dishes down. Maybe. Oh, use for the dishwasher. Depends on what you need. Scan. Dishwasher not working. Missing component yeah, number whatever. I can get that. Processing. Component ordered. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's really cool. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, same place. You know, you know where. Right. Repeatedly swipe the touchpad to interact. Okay. Wouldn't it be so cool if you didn't have to call a repair guy <laughs> and pay him like 200 bucks to come look at your dishwasher and figure out what it needs? Yeah, right. Alice, distant. Huh. Wash, 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 wash Not the dishes. Not good enough at washing dishes, Joe. Yeah, well, story of my life. <laughs> Cara, yes, Todd. Bring me a cold beer. Bring Todd a beer. Oh, I guess uh, they fast forwarded there. Because there was definitely way too many dishes still left for the <laughs> sink to look like that when she <laughs> stopped. We're just that good, Amy. Yeah. Oh. Just because we're a robot doesn't mean we wash dishes fast. It just <laughs> means we do it. What are you looking at? Get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of here! I'll get back to work. Wow. Okay, that's rude. Yeah. Hey, look, it's the vacuum. Okay, so 
so we could check the backyard. We could go talk to Alice. Alice, you better stop that right now. Clean up all this stuff. Yeah, clean up that stuff. Why is she always pushing me? Collect trash in a trash bin. Pushing. Collect trash, clean the kitchen, clean the counter, clean the coffee table. Oh my gosh. So here's the kitchen. Okay. Uh, oh, sorry, that was the counter. So there's still the kitchen and the coffee table. I don't uh, that know that like, there's much in the kitchen. There's like pizza boxes right here, yeah. Oh, okay. I couldn't tell if that's what that was. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. Because <laughs> I saw like a green thing, but I couldn't really... Let's get this stuff from the coffee table. It's a lot of beer bottles. A lot of this stuff is recyclable, so... Yeah, I know. I don't appreciate that it's all going into the trash. <laughs> Alright, so we collected the trash. Pick it up. Take it out. We have, like, riding pants on or something. <laughs> like, weird... Boot overlappy pants. Credit card application form. Harmon Bank overdrawn account notice. Pass due bill for $347. And an invoice uh, for... Uh, just says Mr. Todd Williams. Application rejected for the credit card application form, by the way. What do you think? Swanky job, huh? That we got? Yeah. <laughs> well, it is Detroit. Wow. All right, so we took out the trash, and there's like a locked thing. Really? Watch the bus come in. Android band is what it says there, and then there, the Android section is in the back. But yeah, all those red signs say Android Band. Nice. From like those sections of the bus. Fuck, man. Report to Todd. Uh, what's happening? What? What's happening? It's like panting. Yeah, oh, uh, we can check the backyard. Oh, it says no. Yeah, we can check the backyard. Where's Todd? Right here. Talk to him. Find out what just happened. He's like... He's mm. lighting up a red oh. cigarette or something? What the fuck? Oh. Shit. Oh. I've made a good start down here. I'll head upstairs. Do what you have to do and stop bothering me. Okay. Well. Is it going to let us check the backyard now? Taxi, business class, since 1896. Oh, he's a taxi cab driver. Oh, there you go. Yeah, he's just doing drugs. Okay, so we can't go outside anymore because we talked to Todd. Um, so... You so want to let's go talk to the child. Where did she go? She was. She was under the table, but I think she's gone now. The girl's a fucking headache. He says, "Nice." All right, and let's go upstairs. Every time he does drugs, apparently she hides under the table, because that's where she was initially. Yeah. All right, so now we're upstairs. Do you want to go in this room or down the hall? Uh, down the hall. Okay. That doesn't look like a room. So there's a door, and then there's two doors here as well. Okay, let's go to the left. Let's go to the left. Okay. Okay, that's a bathroom. Clean the bathroom. Arrange the bottles, store the dirty clothes, and dot, dot, dot. Now let's try to find her room. Okay. Well. Can I we knock first? I assume the ones with all the cute drawings on the bottom. Yeah. But no, the only option is open. Okay. Tidy Alice's room. Make the bed. Ventilate the room. Let's ventilate it. 
Alright. Um, oh, wrong button. <laughs> I'm pressing R1 like that's going to do something. It, it specifically said L2. You've unlocked a dialogue or action often beneficial. Good. C can we do that? Uh, we'd have to find her. Oh. I think. Okay. She's not in the fort. We could probably check. Yeah. Look at the cute drawings. Yeah. I mean, it's nope. on the wall, um, so not the best, but... Okay, so we can't... She's not in there. No. It would let you look. Yeah. All right, so the only other thing we can do in this room is make the bed. You want to do that? Uh, fine. So Tidy Alice's room is done. I guess we'll... Oh, new, like, positioning of things. Okay. Okay. That's uh, a weird... Oh. Locked. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, uh... Let's not snoop around, because that's kind of a violation of privacy. Let's <laughs> just find her. Okay. Find her. Yeah. Okay. So where do you want to look? Uh, in the other bedroom, I guess. This one here? Todd's room. Make the bed, clean the mess, ventilate the room. I don't know if the thing... I want to find her. Where could she be at this point? Maybe she went outside. I don't know. We can come back to this. Okay. Hopefully. All right. We can't go downstairs anymore. Oh. Because we're not done up here. Our, our programming, right, our directive is to do stuff up here. Christ. So, Can we open this door over here? Uh, it does not give us that prompt, no. Okay. And then there's the bathroom, but it doesn't look like she's in here either, so. Okay. Well, let's just tidy, I guess, then. Bottles. Mop the floor. Okay, well, the mop's over here. Oh, right. The trackpad. Come on. <laughs> wow, I'm... Are you kidding? There we go. You suck at mopping, Joe. I guess so. I'm actually <laughs> really good at mopping. Uh, I worked in a kitchen once, and... The chef there, shout outs to uh, much more important than I, Joe. Um, all right, the bathroom is clean. Anyway, he taught me the proper mopping method, and it was uh, really great. I appreciated it. Oh, good. He was the best. All right. Well, it must be tidy in here. Switch that thing on, whatever it is. All sports. You can reread discovered articles in the extras section. Oh. Tech Addict, The Price of Life. How driverless vehicles make life and death decisions. Space tourism is your or er, space tourism is Mars your next holiday destination. No. <laughs> How driverless vehicles make life and death decisions. When a driverless vehicle foresees an accident, the car's computer makes life and death decisions. For example, deciding which of two pedestrians to hit. But the exact process by which cars make these decisions is not very well understood. Martin Forlong of Crown Cars... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tr um, tries to clarify. Quote, In these situations, the car's imaging system gathers data to determine the pedestrian's age, gender, life expectancy, etc. in the blink of an eye. Jesus. End quote. This data is parsed through the public record, quote, to determine marital status, employment record, life expectancy, and whether they have children. Wow. End quote. The car then assigns a value 
to each possible victim based on criteria like their contribution to society. Oh my God. Quote, we put a premium on lives that will save other lives, like doctors and nurses. Wow. All this may sound very reasonable, but Felix Gamble, head of anti... No, it doesn't sound reasonable. (laughs) Go fuck yourself. But... Felix Gamble, head of Anti-Automation League, AAL, says the system has no right to make such judgments. Quote, somebody with a criminal record is not necessarily less valuable to society than a doctor. That kind of information is irrelevant to the sanctity of human life. End quote. But Furlong dismisses such claims by saying, quote, We want our cars to make the best possible choice, choices, and that means acting on the basis of all the information they can gather. The more, the better. Okay. That was fucked up. Yeah. Teddy these records. At least what looks like records. I already read that. What is that? Make the bed. Here she is. There she goes. Okay. Oh. Finish up in here quick. Make the bed, clean the mess, and ventilate the room. And now to sports. First up, basketball. As the Gears prepare for the critical match with Denver tonight at the Tiger Life Arena in Detroit, league negotiations are still ongoing over the possibility of allowing one Android player per squad. The debate rages as to whether the oh. change But I can change the channel at any time. I'm not saying you have to, oh, but you let me know. Oh, change it already? I didn't. Oh. Yeah, it's doing that on its own. Yeah. Okay. But that's the hockey game yeah. he was watching. Ventilate the room, it said. Is that everything? No, I have to clean the rest of the mess. More bank notices, it seems. We also dropped... didn't show us. Yeah, I can't look at it anymore either. Okay. Alright, so we read that already. Ah, more mess. Pills. Antidepressant contains tyaneptide. Risk of behavioral issues. There's a gun in his top drawer. Mm. You definitely want to put the prescription with risk of behavioral issues in the same drawer as the gun. You have unlocked dialogue or action often beneficial. But is that fully tidying? I don't think so. It would have told us, right? So there's got to be more tidying Shut that we the closet. can do. I tried that. Didn't see anything over there to do. Okay. What the hell? Are we not done? Oh, right. You can scan. Claim the mess. Yeah, there's still a mess. Supposedly. 
Oh, yeah, this end table here. Come on. Really? No? What the hell? What other mess is there in here? What am I missing? Oh, maybe it's over here. And I just couldn't see it. Oh, um, yep. there's like liquor bottles and shit. Yeah, here we go. Good. Whew, we did it. Okay, talk to Alice. There you go, Amy. Okay. Watch it. Rude. Oh, so we can clean the restroom if we want as well. We did that already. No, this this bathroom. Oh, okay. Uh, well, let's oh. talk. To... Okay, we can go back. Oh, I guess it's just going to do it now. Mm -hmm. Sure. Yeah, easy enough. Okay. Sorry. She's not even going to wash her hands or anything. Meh. Oh. Oh. Can we sit down on the floor? Probably. Look. Alice, Alice in Wonderland. Wonderland. Alice in Wonderland. <laughs> of course. Alice. Neutral. So she was distant, now she's neutral. Okay. Ready? Yeah. It says Neil. Okay. Factual, friendly, or diplomatic? Friendly. I'm sure we used to be friends before I was reset. Alice Ward. Maybe we can be friends again. Name Kara, interests seem quiet, or mother? Uh, name Kara? Your father said you chose my name. Kara, it's nice. How did you choose it? Interests seem quiet, or mother? Interests. You should tell me about yourself. What you like to do, where you like to go, your favorite foods. That would really help me. Mother, seem quiet or leave her alone. Seem quiet? You're very quiet. I hope I don't scare you. It's very clear that you do. Warm, path unlocked. Oh, God. She gave us the key. The key. The treasure box. Okay. Ask Todd for new instructions. We could do this first. Yes. We're absolutely doing this first. <laughs> So, my guess is she gets reset every time she finds out that he beats her. Uh, well, no. From the drawings, it looks like at least this most recent time she got reset, 
because Todd broke her. He, you see him like moving towards her with his hands out, and then you see uh, Kara on the ground with her head and her arms separated from the rest of her body. Yeah, but it seems like he does that because he she finds out that oh, yeah. he beats his daughter. But but and... the, right, but that's not the term for the reset. Because if you remember when Todd picked her up from the store, he was like, "Oh yeah, she fell down some stairs." All right. No, I remember. She's got books. Okay. All right. It says, ask Todd for new instructions. Okay. What are you doing? Uh, I'm playing. Probably wasn't like a thinking loser. That. Can't get a job. Take sure? care of his family. <laughs> Don't you think I tried to make things work? But whatever I do, when someone comes along, they just fuck it all up. I know what you think of me. You hate me. You hate me, don't you? Say it. You hate me. I'm sorry, honey. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You know I love you, don't you? You know I love you. She really doesn't know that. Ugh. I feel real dirty after watching that. You do? Yeah, that's so fucking... What a pile of human garbage that guy was. Wow, we did nothing on the first floor. Holy shit. And then we did literally everything on the second floor, but nothing on the first floor. What? He did, like, so much stuff. Yeah. So if we look at what the world did... Uh, 72% of people washed the dishes, 48% activated the vacuum. Everybody had to take out the trash and ask to go upstairs and then go upstairs. Um, but then once upstairs, 99% of people fully cleaned Todd's room. We also tidied the pills and then saw the gun. 98% cleaned the toilet. 99% uh, go. Uh, Alice goes to her room. So I guess there's a percentage chance she doesn't. Yeah. I guess if you don't clean Todd's room or something. Uh, ninety four percent clean the bathroom, ninety three percent read Android QB, yeah the the magazine. Okay. Uh, sixty seven percent read putting a price. Kara did discover a way down, while ventilating, um, Alice's room. Yeah. Uh, and ninety nine percent of people also cleaned Alice's room, and then. Alice giving Kara a key was 98%, and then opening Alice's box was 91%. So it seems like at least 7% of people either didn't know where the box was or chose to not invade her privacy, despite the fact that they were she specifically the given the key. Interesting. Yeah. Hmm. So there you go. Okay. What do you think? You want to talk about this at all? or? I mean, I guess we have lots of work to do. How do you mean? clean this fucking house well, <laughs> clearly because this dude sucks at everything at all well, yeah <laughs> but i mean did you want to talk about anything else no uh, that was honestly milder than i expected it to be okay all right well then let's continue november 5th 2038 9.58 a.m. We are Marcus again. Okay. Wow.
deposit package. Oh, it's one of those houses. <laughs> All right, so we looked at or ourselves. Or like you don't mirror. meet the person who lives there. You just like interact mm. loosely with a portion of their house and then leave. <laughs> Not quite. It says, take care of Carl. Wake Carl upstairs. Oh, okay. Because if you notice, when he went through the door, it said, welcome home, Marcus. So. Yeah. Uh, so we have to go upstairs. Do you want to go upstairs or look around down here more? Look around down here? Are you kidding me? <laughs> this place is fucking gorgeous. <laughs> what the hell? Oh. And again, it's in Detroit, so I'm a little confused. Is this the... Did he invent these androids? Oh, interesting question. I don't know. There's birds. Oh. Are they real? They aren't. Oh, they they are. Oh, they're android birds. Oh. (laughs) What the hell? Yeah, they've got the little things on the side of their heads like the androids do. There's a, a room here. It's like a mini offshoot kitchen or the full kitchen. What's this? Figs. <laughs> Take the tray to the dining table. Oh, okay. I thought we would take it up to the bedroom. He's not sitting here. (laughs) Well, he hasn't woken up yet. We have to go wake him up. It said. But now we're in this room. Oh. What is this? That's a TV. Yeah. Oh. Checkmate in three moves for silver. spin the globe. (laughs) There's just a giraffe in here. There sure is. Rich people. (laughs) Don't get that shit. (laughs) Just don't. (laughs) Books. I want to take a look at the skull on the table. Yeah, it looks like a candy skull or whatever, right? No, I meant oh, over here. Oh, this skull. I can't do Looks much like more than that. It's like there's writing on it or a significant amount of damage to it. Let's see if this lets me get closer. Huh? It's like... It um, it almost looks like coral. Yeah. Right? Like, like the way that it's like textured stone, or whatever. Yeah. yeah. Interesting. Okay. Mm-hmm. Get it? No. It's like a skull made out of lace. <laughs> okay. I don't know that there's much else left to do in this okay. room. Okay, let's go get him. Okay. Carl! <laughs> Carl! Nope, oh, come up. There's like a force field around the fireplace. It's like just, weird noises. It's the, um, I think it's the doors opening and closing as we get close to them because they're oh. automatic. Okay. I just kept walking near that area. Oh, okay, so, yeah, it was. Yeah. Yeah, and this one too, but that just leads to the dining area, so alright. Upstairs we go. Well, there's also this door and this door. Or, no, those are just windows, I think. Yep, okay. Yeah. So you're right, up we go. The staircase. Maybe he's a painter. I mean, we did bring back paints. Yeah, but I thought they were like house paints, but I guess not. Mm. Oh. Wow. Okay. (laughs) Somewhat of an antiquities 
uh, collector. He really likes skulls. Um, <laughs> dead things. Mm. Oh. Oh, is this him? Yeah. All right, so do you want to keep looking around up here or just come into this room like we're supposed to? Uh, come into this room, maybe open the curtains first before trying to wake him. Sure. Oh, look at all his tattoos. Good morning, Carl. Yeah. Good morning. It's 10 a.m. The weather is partly cloudy, 54 degrees, 80% humidity with a strong possibility of afternoon showers. It sounds like a good day to spend in bed. <laughs> and Mr. I Carl's did go medicine. I pick up the paint that you ordered. Oh, yes, I forgot. That is the difference between you and me, right, Marcus? You never forget anything. Show me your arm, please, Carl. No. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I just opened my eyes and I'm already gritting my teeth. Yeah, I, I didn't love the uh, status report. Yeah, it's a <laughs> fragile machine. They break down so quickly. All this effort to keep them going. Hmm. Quite the contrary. What happened to your clothes? Oh, it's nothing. Just some demonstrators in the street, Carl. What a bunch of idiots. They think they can stop progress by roughing up a few androids? <laughs> I hope they didn't harm you. Oh, no, no. They just pushed me around, Carl. I'm fine. Okay. I'll take you to the bathroom now. He's in a wheelchair. I thought I saw um, a lift on the staircase. You did. Wow. Very interesting. Eclectic taste. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I disagree with him. I think his body probably lasted longer than uh, Marcus's. <laughs> like Marcus probably Anything needs to get on the agenda today? replacement yes, parts the a lot more frequently. The of Modern Art. Mm -hmm. the gallery director left four messages asking to confirm your attendance. Ooh. Hmm. I haven't decided that yet. <laughs> we'll see about that later. Okay. What else? Just your Oops. usual fan mail. I've Sorry. already answered. God damn it. <laughs> Any news from Leo? No, Carl. I can call him if you like. No. No, I don't bother. We didn't even dress him. He's just already dressed. <laughs> I guess. He could be in his night clothes. Well, your breakfast is ready. Bacon and eggs, just the way you like them. Thank you, Marcus. You're welcome. So let's take him to the dining table. Is it this end, I guess? Yeah, yeah this side with no chairs. Yeah. yeah. Still be hot. No, not even close. <laughs> Bacon and eggs is just one of those things that doesn't hold that heat. No. Why don't you find something to do while I finish my breakfast? Sure. Hmm? Okay, Carl. Breakfast served, take care of Carl is done, find something to do. <laughs> yeah, I guess we can't join him because we don't eat. 
Okay, do you have anything, based on what we've checked out, do you have anything you want to try to do? Can I take a look at this fireplace? Not more than this, no. Damn it. Okay. Whoa. Okay. It's like a painted brick, but then, the, like, this cover seems interesting. But yeah. Can't make out the details on it at all. Nope. All right. Um, what else? Oh. Oh, yeah, we looked at the books already. Okay. Read a book. So we can read a book. Oh, okay. That's one of the things we could do. Um, we could read this magazine. The North Pole, Why Russia Wants It. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Life Found on Titan. Oh. Evidence for Alien Life Grows. Mm. So of those two stories, what do you want? Television off. Mankind is so depressing. Nothing but greed, stupidity, and violence. 5,000 years of civilization just to get to where we are. Yeah. <laughs> Sad, isn't it? <laughs> so you want to read The Life Found on Titan or the uh, Russia taking over the... Life Found on Titan. I don't give a fuck what Russia wants. Okay. <laughs> Evidence for alien life grows. The Darwin probe, which left exactly 19 years ago to probe the surface of Titan's methane ice, has just confirmed the presence of microorganisms living hundreds of kilometers below the surface in an ocean of salt water protected by a thick layer of ice. After similar microbial matter was found on Encelad Enceladus, I'll pretend that that's what that says. Another satellite of Saturn. It seems increasingly possible that life is common in the universe. Did that that's not... not very shocking. Yeah, I mean, the uh, North Pole Russia wanting it thing is shocking, but <laughs> it, it's a little bit presumptuous, I feel like. Well, no, that was the story that was being told on the news, was that Russia had taken the North Pole and, like, there was a flag of theirs present or whatever yeah, as well. well. So, uh, but it says a NASA spokesman responded to this story, or re a NASA spokesman responded to this story has stated, wow, that's horrible English, quote, the latest in a series of pointers to life on other planets, end quote. Our Android expedition to, or not end quote, colon, our Android expedition to IO is one of uh, is one among many such voyages that carry a prime objective of uncovering extraterrestrial life forms. Jason Graff, director of humanization at CyberLife, said the company was committed to its partnership with NASA. Quote, our spacefaring androids are spe specially designed to function on long-range missions of this kind, and we are proud to have our models at the frontier of human exploration. Cool. That is kind of cool. Okay, do you want the... North Pole story, or to... Yeah, I guess so. You don't have to. I'm just asking. It's just stupid. Like, what they... Just because they want it, they can just take it? I mean... Let's find out. Uh, frozen treasures. Russia's interest in the North Pole has intensified with the recent discovery of precious minerals trapped in the frozen ice, many of which are used in synthesizing thur thurium? Android manufacture increasingly dominates both the U.S. and Russian economies, but this isn't just about GDP. Surplus thurium reserves would allow either nation to experiment in more advanced Android models, enhancing their military and industrial output tremendously. Mm -hmm. Do you mean to tell me that a land grab of some kind has to do with money? No. I don't believe it. No way. Add to this the strategic importance of the region, which connects Russia with Europe through Norway and Denmark, Greenland, as well as Canada, and the prospect of a peaceful resolution to the dispute starts to seem unlikely. But a spokesperson for NATO is more optimistic. Quote, both nations stand to benefit from a stable, productive Arctic region. A conflict would benefit nobody. End quote. President Warren, however, recently torpedoed the notion. Quote, it's simple. Russia has no business in the Arctic. If the Kremlin doesn't understand that, we will make them understand. Wow. Okay. Sounds great. <laughs> All right, what else? 
Uh, right, the chess game, which we looked at already. Oh, oh, play chess is another option. And there was a third. There's a third option somewhere that we have not seen. Ah. Oh, play the piano. Or play the piano. So Let's what would do you like? You want to play the piano? Yes. Okay. Sit down or find something else. Sit down. It was just giving you another chance to like <laughs> not do that. That's all. Yeah. Uh, of the three options, it's read, which we already did, play the piano, and play chess. So Mel what do you think I'm gonna pick? <laughs> Melancholic, hopeful, intimate, or enigmatic? Uh, hopeful. Hopeful. I'm sure this isn't the melancholy. familiar with this rhythm but I'm not very good at it <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't sound that bad thank you so. if it helps kind of It's going to make me stop, but whenever you'd like, you let me know. I'm, I'm fine. But. I assume when the song is over, you'll stop. Says you. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's my assumption. <laughs> Maybe I'm wrong. Sorry for doubting you. Something has changed in the way you play. Sometimes I think you have more humanity than most humans. One day I won't be here to take care of you anymore. You'll have to protect yourself and make your choices. Decide who you are and want to become. This world doesn't like those who are different, Marcus. Don't let anyone tell you who you should be. Let's go to the studio. What'd you think of that? All right, let's take Carl to the studio. Okay. Not expecting that. <laughs> oh. Let's oh, see where we sick. left off. Remove the sheet. Remove the sheet. Wow. 
sheet. Or like burlap curtains. <laughs> Wait for Carl's instructions. It does say clean the studio, so I guess I'll clean the studio. Gives me the option to watch him. That's cool. Like erasing it. Mm. We're just adding blue over top. Yeah. Mm. This is arm and pain. He's just done. I don't know. So, what's your verdict, Marcus? Like, don't like, or no opinion? Uh, like? Yes, there is something about it. Mm. Something I can't quite define. I guess I like it. <laughs> the truth is, I have nothing left to say anymore. Each day that goes by brings me closer to the end. I'm just an old man clinging to his brushes. Carl. But enough about me. <laughs> Let's see if you have any talent. <laughs> Give it a try. Try painting something. Paint? But would I... Painting what? Anything you want. Give it a try. <sighs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Guess I'll take the palette. Oh, that paint looks dry. Yeah. Find a subject to paint. Find a subject. Okay. So there's the statue, the desk. Let's do the brushes. Carl's painting. Hmm. Let's do the brushes. Well, it's just the desk. But... Okay. That's fine. Probably just gonna make like a perfect replica of the desk. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that is a perfect copy mm -hmm. of reality. The painting is not about replicating the world, it's about interpreting, improving on it, showing something you see. Carl, I don't think I can do that. It's not in my program. I yeah. Go on, go on, try it. <laughs> Grab that canvas. Come on. Marcus, don't let the old man down. <laughs> you can do this. <laughs> do something for me. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. Trust me. Try to imagine something that doesn't exist, something you've never seen. Now concentrate on how it makes you feel and let your hand drift across the canvas. Androids, humanity, or identity? Humanity. Anger, comfort, empathy, or hope? Okay. Oh my god. Uh, 
Who is this? Hey, Dad. Leo. I didn't hear you come in. No, I was in the neighborhood. I thought I'd stop by. It's been a while, right? You all right? You don't look so good. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> hey, listen, uh, I need some cash, Dad. Again? What happened to the money I just gave you? Mm, well, it's been it, is, it just goes, you know? <laughs> yeah. yeah, you're on it again, aren't you? No. No, no, I swear it's not that. No, uh, don't lie to me, Leo. What difference does it make? I just need some cash, that's all. Sorry. The answer is no. What? Why? You know why. Yeah, yeah, I think I do know why. <laughs> you'd rather, you'd rather take care of your uh, plastic toy here than your own son, right? Tell me, Dad, what's, what's he got that I don't? Smarter, more obedient, not like me, right? But you know what? This thing is not your son. It's a fucking machine. Leo, that's enough. Enough. You don't care about anything except yourself and your goddamn paintings. You've never loved anyone. You never loved me, Dad. You never loved me. Well, at least that guy wasn't some kind of scumbag or anything. No. <laughs> Jesus. I think him and Todd could probably have some type of competition with one another, you know? <laughs> I was just going to say, we've come across a number of those. <laughs> uh, all right. Well, hey, uh, we did some stuff. At least everything up to find something to do, we did everything possible. Okay. We played nice. the piano and we chose Hopeful. Um we took, and then we took Carl to studio. So, like, the other options were read a book or play chess. Yeah. And so those only had, oh, it's it. Maybe it doesn't show the other options if they're oh, not if they're not. locked. Yeah, I'm not sure. Um, take Carl to the studio, paint something you see, copy the desk, paint from the the heart, humanity and empathy. Oh, okay, so if we chose humanity, which unlocked this center section. If we chose an androids, it would have unlocked that top section and identity on that bottom section. Okay. And then it ends with Leo intruding to ask for money. Mm -hmm. So let's see the world's stats. We'll start back up from the beginning. 66% uh, activated the birds. 51% read the North Pole. 42% read life on Titan. Okay. 66% uh, Carl noticed Marcus's clothes, uh, and then we served breakfast. How could he not have noticed our clothes? I don't know. I don't either. Maybe we, like, if we don't give him his meds or whatever, but we had to have done that, no? Right. I mean, it doesn't say that here. Yeah. Hmm. Interesting. Well, um, what's the other branch there? What? I mean, we did that too, but the other branch there... Well, because this is drop-off package, wake Carl, and then serve breakfast or Carl notices, and Carl notices Marcus is close. So, yeah, I think it's administering, because we administered his meds, okay. we got close enough for him to notice the clothes. 43% um, played the piano. There's no way to know who did the other ones. Um, be, of the people that played the piano, 19% chose hopeful. Nice. You were in the majority on that one. Um 19%? 19% of the 43%. Oh, so. oh, okay. I was like, how is that the majority? Well, because of the, <laughs> otherwise it's of 9, 7, or 6. 30% mm -hmm. um, copied the desk like us. Otherwise, 43% copied the statue. That's what most people did. Okay. Maybe because that was the closest thing. So they just like, you know, picked well, that. that's a much simpler uh, subject. Sure. Than I'm kind of messy desk um when we were painting uh 30 we were in the i guess the second highest group in humanity with 31 percent as opposed to identity with 56 percent yeah. and androids 11 percent mm. so very few people painted about androids 
And then of the people that painted for humanity, most people painted for hope at 17%, then empathy, which is what you picked at six, then anger at four, and comfort at three. Mm. And then the end. Cool. Very interesting episode. A lot more uh, confrontational than the last one, although there was confrontation in the last one, but a lot more confrontational in that both of the uh, missions that we did today had a bit of, um, what's the word, like thrill in them, so to speak, with um, Todd, right, at that at that one moment, and then now um, Leo dealing with Marcus and his dad. But what did you think? Um, well, this guy's cool. Marcus or Leo? Or, uh, sorry, or uh, Carl. Carl. Gotcha. Uh, yeah, I mean, his house is awesome. <laughs> weird. And weird. <laughs> yeah. Um, Marcus is fine, and Leo sucks. Um, but, you know. What about Kara and Alice and Todd? Uh, well... Uh, Todd sucks, but <laughs> Alice is awesome, and Kara's fine. <laughs> okay, fair enough. All right. So there's, in in every situation, there's one awesome person, mm-hmm. one awful person, and then an android who's kind of like <laughs> neutrally standing there going, what, what do I do? <laughs> and then next thing you know, she's dismantled on the floor and has to be reset. Wow. So, <laughs> You know, you do the math, I guess. Yeah. So what do you think uh, we're going to be doing next? Um, do you have a guess? Do you no dare idea. to... Okay. No Honestly, problem. no idea. I mean, I could not have foretold this. Do you know who we're going to... Who we might be controlling next? Or who you want to control next, I guess, is a better question. So we could either, after this, right, if we click continue, we could either go to Marcus again... We could go back to Kara. We could go to Connor from the first uh, episode or somebody entirely different. Interesting. Yeah, like, uh, I think it would be fascinating to do Connor again. Okay. Um, but it would be so anxiety ridden that I'm not necessarily <laughs> sure that I want to. Um, so that's where I met on Connor. Fair enough. Um. All right. Well, hey, uh, we will be back next week because that is going to be the end of this episode if that was unclear. We will be back next week with a continuation of this series and we'll see if Amy is correct, if we are going to Connor next or who we might see next. Like I said, I'm not guaranteeing that there's somebody else. I'm just saying that could be an option since we've been three characters so far who knows if there's more than three um we will have to stay tuned and see but you're you're happy to continue this game yeah okay good definitely i figured i just good i'm really glad um so leave your thoughts please in the comments down below those of you who are watching this um what do you think of this game so far did you know anything about this game before watching it on this channel um what do you think of our different characters maybe some of the choices that we made or didn't make um especially i guess the the biggest like branching trees here were um when we were talking to alice right there were a lot of different options there and then uh, a lot of this stuff with carl in terms of what we could do to um keep ourselves occupied and then what we could do in terms of the painting uh, and what that what that looked like. So any and all thoughts that you might have, we would love to hear from you in the comments down below. If you played this game, were you with us or were you in a different category? Um, but for now, from us here at the Geek for All family of channels, I have been Joe. And I'm Amy. Please don't forget to do all the fun YouTube stuff, liking, sharing, subscribe, ring that bell, so that you'll find out when all of our videos come out, including the continuation of this series next week. You can check out our other channels down in the description box below as well, our socials. Um, please feel free to um, share and, you know, do what, like I said, all that, all that stuff is super, super helpful. But... As we always say, in whichever video of ours you watch next, we will see you all next time. Thanks, everybody.